Good evening and welcome back. So today we're playing Sevilla in the league at home. We've got a comfortable lead at the top at the moment and we had a convincing 4-1 win against Levante in the last match. Quite a few changes. You can see some tired legs there. One of the main points is that Ruben Castro is on an upward flashing, which means that he should increase his skills a lot more quickly at the moment. So we're going to play him as much as we possibly can. But let's jump into the match. And like I did say in the last match, there are obviously other players that have got that flashing condition today, but it's not the same as Ruben Castro's. We got a notification to say he is improving quickly, and that just means that um, you want to play that player as much as possible. Their stats will increase, their experience will be a lot more in those matches. So probably in the next match we see, we'll see all of the other players go back to sort of their normal condition, not flashing, and Castro will remain. Would have been good if they actually put something in the game that made it easier to differentiate between the two different types. Um, the reason that the other players will be flashing today is because Sevilla are probably classed as a, as a rival. Um, each team can have up to three rivals, I believe, and when you play them, normally your players, or the majority of them, um, have that flashing icon. So anyway... I'm going to keep the wins up. Got some big matches coming up. Ooh. Castro Nell here and there. Yeah, we've got a few changes today just because of some tired bodies. So Gedson's come in instead of Herrera. Um, hang on, we'll focus on that in a moment. Oh, what a goal from Diaby. Showing such strength, but what a finish as well. See, he is battling for the ball all the way through. Defender pulling on a shirt. Great finish. Great battle down the right there. See him just getting free. Slot it away in the corner. And that's what you want for a start in the game. Here's Cousins, breaking free here. Now Castro, oh, Joby still gets it. Castro, 2-0. Lovely pass from Diaby there. Castro played through and Joby just went behind him. He still got it though. A nice little pass. And Castro there to tap it in. Well, it's been a very quick start. And I haven't played this game in a few days um, since the last video. It's been a, ooh, I don't know, maybe even about a week. Um, been playing a bit of Diablo 4, which has just come out. Great game, absolutely loving it. tackle there Giorbi to Martinelli now Castro can he get there how is uh, I'm not even going to start with the, the whole rubber banding thing with the AI their speed is ridiculous even slow players have uh, the ability to catch you up it's a very strange thing anyway Yeah, Diaby. Diaby. Di I was trying to say Diablo. Di Diablo 4 is a very good game. I mean, I love Diablo 3, put lots of hours into that. And Diablo 4 is pretty much not in a bad way, but more of the same. It's what you expect. It's on a modern console. Looks fantastic. Plays fantastic. I'm, I'm only a few hours in, so the thing is with Diablo 4, the main part of the game is really once you finish the game. Um... Here's the bushy. Oh, I should have got a third. Nice play, though. And what I mean 
with Diablo 4 is that the end game is really where a lot of the game opens up for you. Gets in. Now DRB. Ah, oh, just hit uh, Vieira there. Got in the way. That's a poor pass. It's got an exception though. Ooh, that's a poor header. It was a good interception by DRB, but really poor header. And we've had to give it away a free kick. Well, it was comfortable in the end, but you never know with these free kicks. Now GRB in again. He's been there uh, very productive down this right hand side. <sighs> Try to play it through, but it's a corner. Let's see if we can get one of these corners to work. Defended. Approaching half time has been very comfortable so far. Let's pull a pass again, though. Martinelli hasn't quite been on the ball yet. Castro, oh, just wide. Expected that to go in. It was a difficult chance. But he struck it well. Well, I was going to say good tackle from VR, but somehow they got it back. Not a good ball. Yes, Castro. Uh, deflects in the keeper's arms. Should be half time. And what it is, we'll jump straight back into the second. Yeah, it was looking pretty tight. He was already down on energy, so probably going to have to take him off sooner rather than later. He hasn't done too much in the game, really. All the plays being down the, the wings. Nice play there, though. And here's Cousins. Oh, that's a poor ball. I don't know what they're doing there. It's a good tackle by Castro. Oh, how has Diaby missed that? That should have been three easily. Maybe had a bit longer instead of trying to slot it in from a slightly difficult position. Oh, here's Castro. 3-0. Bit of a mistake from the defender there. It was a nice ball through from Diaby originally. And it's a second of the day. See, Diaby tries to play it through just the flex. He probably won't get an assist for that. It's a bit of a shame. Very nicely slotted away. Comfortable finish. So 
if you hear some noises there. Just there. Uh, I've got the um, video processing in the background in my. Oof. My laptops make noises. That would have been some goal though, there, wouldn't it? What a strike. Nice ball by the keeper. Not any nice play. Vieira now. TRB. Ah, Fiera was running and he suddenly stopped his run just as I was playing the pass there. Nice play by Martinelli. Gets in. We'll make some subs soon. So Vieira's going to go off for Carlos Perez. I'm actually going to play him in that central attacking midfield role, which he hasn't played for. Kusan's going off for Marie Bear. And Bellarabi's going to come on for Diaby. Or at least uh, when the ball goes out. So the subs come on. Fiera was looking very tired. Maybe shouldn't have started him today. Really nice ball. And better Robbie's first uh, touch is pretty good. Carlos Perez. Oh, just wide. Yeah, trying him in that sort of central attacking midfield role, which Mudrick's played in before, who's traditionally a winger, and it worked well for him. So, yeah, let's try that. Just because Lee Kang in wasn't fully fit or in good condition, so he's not even on the bench. He'd be the normal replacement for Vieira at the moment in that position. Good tackle. Oh, come on, ref. It's very comfortable, but I think we need a bit. Deserve more than three, really. Maybe being a bit greedy. I don't know, but I don't care. That's a foul. Thank you. Poor pass. No, we Debussy could have got to that. Good tackle. Now Tech Share. Bella Robbie's through here. He has loads of space. Castro for the hat trick. Oh, Shredder scored. What are they doing? Get, really get away with it. They should not be doing that. <laughs> Here's Martinelli. <sighs> Definitely getting the run of the air, the ball sometimes. Good play by Tech Shara though. Perez 
to that I'll be he's uh, been pretty lively since coming on Ruben Castro and Mariba ah, Martinelli he's not had a good game I'm not being funny if you're 3-0 behind are you really going to start passing it you know in the in your own box better while he's in here And Martinelli gets a goal. He's had a terrible game, but he gets a goal. That's all Bellarabi. He's got such pace on him. Lovely ball by Castro, just on side. Bellarabi maybe should have went for it. Played it back to Martinelli, and he gets it around the defender. And that should be full time. And it is last kick of the game, really. I think 4-0 was about the right score in terms of uh, our productivity and how we played. They had one one shot from distance that I remember that went wide, but that was about it from them. Not a surprise at all that Castro got man of the match. He was definitely the key player in this one alongside Giorbi. Martinelli getting seven. That's not a surprise, even though he had a poor game. If you get a goal, you tend to at least get a six and a half, seven. But as you can see, very good all round. And even the subs did a job when they came on. Bellarabi looking especially impressive. Well, that's it for today, guys. As you can see, still five points clear of Real Madrid. And there's a little bit of a gap to Atletico and Barcelona. We're playing Elche in the next match. And that's away. I believe they're just above the relegation zone at the moment. So you would expect that to be a relatively easy match. And then we're back in the Champions League against Midland. Again, a game at home. That's probably one of the easier games in that group. Want to keep on fighting for that top spot. But we are through to the knockout stages anyway. So join me for the next games coming up. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.